see the Gen Xers in here. Where are the green tickets? Let me see. Oh, Gen X. Okay, Gen X, you're gonna love me because what I'm gonna say, you're going to love me. You are the most creative of all the generations. Why? Because the baby boomer mom went off to work and we left you home alone. There was no Nickelodeon, there was no nannies, there was no daycare, it was you, Gen X. We called you the latchkey kids. Were there any latchkey kids in this audience? Are there any latchkeyers in here? Oh, look at all, yeah, the latchkey brilliance, right? So mom goes off to work and she looks at the latchkey kids and she says, mom's going off to work. I won't be home until maybe six, seven, or eight. You know, Helen Reddy, I am woman, hear me roar. I will stay as long as the men. I will stay late, right? We stayed late. So we asked that Gen Xer, that oldest child, to stay home and get dinner started, to plug in the crock pot, to clean up the ice cube trays. No potato chips on the sink, please. Mom will be home and I will be tired. Clean up, help your brothers and sisters with their homework. And when she left the, and closed the door, what were you doing, Gen X? You were watching MTV, you were watching Madonna, and you were making tapes. You were making mixed tapes. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta bring it out. I gotta call you on this. Woohoo! I got you to nerve. You are a Gen X. Don't ever question it. They're making mixed tapes. Listen to what they did. Mom is gone. They love their music so much. They were listening to the radio, radio millennials, and they would push the tape recorder up against the radio, and they would press play and record at the same time. We don't know why. And they would steal, this was against the law, they broke the law. They would steal music off the radio and they would go into their mixtape. And when they were in love, this creative generation, oh my God, all the songs were love songs, right? And when they broke up, Nine Inch Nails, man, they got right into it, right? And they had themes and they gave their tapes away. They shared their music. I love this music, I'm going to give it to you. Now think about this. Creative of all the generations, why? How do we get our music today? How do we share files today? How do we give information today? Thank you, Generation X. You see, Sony was watching you. They were nervous, but they were watching you, and then Apple got the big idea to sell them individually. If you begin to think of how we are receiving, how we are listening, how we are sharing our music, our films, our movies today, it's because of Generation X. It's because this generation saw into the future, because they cared about their friends, they wanted to share information. When we study young people and we see the behaviors of young people, we get an eye opener to the future. So millennials, we're watching you. We're watching you and we're studying you because we know that that will be the way. Thank you, Uber, right? Thank you, well, Groupon, I don't know anymore. But if you begin to think about the things that came around because of the disruption of millennials, you will realize that young people change not only the cultures, but the way we live. So we have a very creative generation here. They're flexible, they're skeptical, but they also are a little bit negative. We made you that way. Come on, baby boomers, admit it. Halloween. Oh my gosh. First of all, we gave you a pillowcase, not one of those cute little bags. You went around with a pillowcase and then we grabbed the pillowcase from you and we made sure that you didn't have any good stuff in there because the neighbors could have put pins or razor blades in the milk duds. So we took your candy to the hospital to x-ray it. Imagine what that would do to a young person's psyche. We messed you up. And then what about this one? Hey, let's put lost children on the milk carton, right? So when you're eating your breakfast, looking at Bruce Jenner before, you're beginning to see the lost children and my neighbors on the milk carton. Okay, and we're sorry, we messed you up. But then how about this one? A frying pan comes on the scene. This is your brain. An egg cracks. This is your brain on drugs. Did that one work, Gen X? We're not sure, right? We tried to scare you, and so this is what we got. You're cynical. You're doubting. But you're creative. You're very creative. You are called the dot-com generation. How many of you embraced, loved that? I, that? I called my son. What kind of computer did you have? He said, I think I had an Apple E something, E2. It was the first Apple computer that ever came out. At age of six, he was on his computer with those floppy disks. How many remember the floppies? How many remember? That's you, Gen X. You have wonderful qualities, but remember that cynicism will always creep in. So you've got to check yourself on that because you are the leaders of today. And here are some of the things that you value. You value contribution. You value feedback. 
autonomy, flexible time. You want to be able to work the things that you can do at home, you want to do them at home. You want flexible time so you can go see your kids' games and you can really share in the life that your family has. Right. When you came on the scene, you, the baby boomer was in their 40s. We made fun. We made fun of these things. We called you slackers. We're sorry. We were wrong. Because you're the generation that's giving us a conscience. You're the generation that's why we're here today talking about culture. You started it. You started it, Gen X. Thank you. Thank you for it. We weren't there to listen in the beginning, but we're listening now. So you are a generation that wants the time with your manager, quality time with their manager. And you want separation from work and family. So you don't really want a work Facebook page. You don't want it. You want to keep work here and family here. We have a generation coming up that wants to integrate them. So let's listen and pay attention. OK, millennials, it's your turn. Hot pink card, let's see it. Who's got the hot pink card? There's a lot of them in here. Next year, there'll be more. And the next year, there'll be more. Because by, I, I heard that by 2025, 75% of the workforce in the world will be millennials. 